On this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to create this amazing magazine flyer design. It's a modern flyer design, and trust me, you're gonna like it. So, we'll be working with an A4 design. So, I switch my color to black, we'll be working in black and red. I'll click my box too and draw it. And it's white. So, I'll click color and switch to black and click my move too. So, I'll go to the box too. And I'll set up a name and name it. Always name your layer so you know where you're working with. So right now I'll create a new layer. I'm going to my box to go to the circle and hold my hold your shift key and draw a little bit bold. So it's black. Click my color and I'll switch it to red because I want it to be red. So it's gonna be on top. If you see it's on top. So I'm going to name this layer. Which is a circle. I'm going to give it a name. Then I'll go to my upwards. I'll switch. Create a new layer. Name it. I'll go to my box too. And this time it's going to be box. I'm going to raise a little bit bold. This is, I'm going to insert image on this. So I let go. Click my move too. I drag it down a little bit. I'll duplicate it and name it. So I'll name it. I'll move it and put it here, like it here. So I'll click this last one. Give it a power. I want to create something and I want it to be on top. So I'll create another new. I'm putting it under. If you watch as an under, I click the under. Now click this other box again, click on the other one, create another new layer, I'll switch it to black, name it, name my new layer, this circle will be on top of the box, so black and red, I'll click the red, I'll name the red, so next, I'll create another new layer, name it. I'll switch, pick red because I want it to be red. So I'll just pick red. And when I pick the red, I'm going to go to my box and draw a tiny box. Tiny. There's a line. I'm going to zoom in. Command plus to zoom in. And click good. I'll duplicate it and name it. Move it down a little bit. While I'm, uh, I'm on it, I'm going to duplicate it again. So it's three and name it. Next, I'll create a new layer, switch my color and pick black. I will click my text and pick my the font I want to use. I'm going to put it on medium. My text can be 12. And I'm going to rule it with my text. Click OK. With the text, you can insert your own text. It's good you, you paste your text. So I'm going to paste what I want to insert in. And then I like the way it is. So I'll click my move to and move it a little bit. Then duplicate it. Command J to duplicate. And to duplicate, I'll move it down. The move to push it a little bit. Then once you have it like this, you just click it and delete what is going to test the test. So I'll create another new layer again and click my T. This time I'm creating a title. And the title has to be bold. So I'm gonna pick separate font. Don't always use your design right up front with your title font. So I'll click, click it to 73 model. Click my move to command T to resize. Yes, I resize it and move it down a little bit. And zoom in, command plus to zoom in, command minus to zoom out. So I think it's okay. I'll create another new layer again. Click my test tool. I'm going to put this in 33. Then you type or give space. When you type issue, you give space. That's how you can get this kind of uh, write up. 
give me space so I'll come and T to the side click my group next I'll create another layer again name it click my test on test you literally don't need to name because once you test the test will automatically be there as the name so I'll name this tag click my group I'll increase the front to 73 click my move to command T to the side and check it I want it to be accurate so it's accurate Next, I'm going to create another new layer again. So I'll click the test because I want it to be on top of the test. So I'll go to my box tool and name this one offline. Turn it to red. Click my box here and down. Yeah, I think we're good. We're done. Next is to insert the image. I'm going to click the box. Always click whatever you want to insert it and it will go to my image and drag the image once it's show plus to insert into Photoshop I will hold my alt key hold your alt slash option key so to show you an arrow just insert it to insert into the box that's inside the image of the box then you click command T to the side or command or control plus yes or control T but I'm using our process command So yeah, this is it. You can see the circle is on top of the image of the pen school. So I'll click my selection tool and uh, which is a quick selection tool. Then I'll click my selection to select the image I'll duplicate it. So if you see the image I'll duplicate from the first image, I will name the image. Don't move it. Image up. So it's on top of the main image. So I'm going to click the circle down and duplicate it. So you can see we have two circles. I'll name this so it will be easy. So I'll name it. I'm going to move it on top of the first image. So once I move it on top of the first image, I will hold my Alt key. The top image is on top of I'll hold my Alt key and Option key and insert it into the, the image. So it's on top. And next I'm going to click this box. So remember this box. Okay, I'm going to duplicate it. Command J to duplicate. Then I'll move it on top. I'll name it. So you name it so easily. So I'll move it under this box because it's under it. Yeah, it's above it. This box is above. I'll just align it so it looks as if wow, come on, this design is amazing. I like this. So this is how I'll create this design. Then now if you look at this and you zoom in, command plus to zoom in, you can see we have a little bit further. I'll click my lasso tool. Uh, just click it into the edge, move it gradually, and uh, plus Command X to delete. To delete, I will do the same thing to the right. Um, once it is zero, Command X delete. I'll do the same thing. So that is how you can do it. So it can be cool. Yeah. So whoa, now zoom out. No one knows, no one will ever know when you print it out. Right? So, this is how I'll create this astonished design. Then, lastly, I'm going to click this last box and insert an image in. Uh, we click this and hold down, hold my heart and option key so it will show you an arrow. And I'm going to insert it, command T to the side. So I will drag it to fit in. Yeah. Click my group. So this is how I created this amazing magazine profile. So I'm going to save it. You go to your site. First of all, you save it as a template so you can work on it anytime. That's Photoshop. Yeah. And so this is how you save it as Photoshop. And this is how you save it as a JPEG. Thank you once again for viewing this and Our next design is going to be how to create this amazing layout.
so kindly subscribe to my youtube and let's get it on